Hello, my name is Alex Gaffigan and I'm Head of Interpretation and Design here at the Australian National Maritime Museum down at Darling Harbour. And today I want to give you a tour of our exhibition Elysium Arctic. Commuters have been able to see this outdoor free exhibition for a few months now. But for those of you marooned at home, I want to give you some of the highlights of the exhibition. The exhibition is based on an expedition to the Arctic in 2015 and it was led by Michael O, oh, a photographer who takes photographs of the deep sea and he took scientists, photographers, artists to the Arctic in order to produce science and works of art really to tell people about the conservation of the Arctic. And here's Michael O in his deep sea gear, taking lots of photographs of the Arctic. He's very passionate about conservation and I hope through this exhibition you will be too. There are about 40 to 50 photographs in all. Some of them show the Arctic, the scenery, the wildlife, the animals, the conservation, the climate change. And some of them are of the scientists at work and also some of them are the scientists at play. This is a glorious photograph of her deepness, Dr. Sylvia Earle, world famous oceanographer who's been studying the oceans for decades. In fact, Sylvia celebrated her 80th birthday deep sea diving here at the Arctic on the Elysium Arctic Expedition in 2015. Sylvia is also a patron of the expedition and as you can see here, I love this photograph because you can just see the joy in her face. One of the key things about Michael O's expeditions is that he wants to get across about the climate change, conservation, and the damage that humans are doing to the planet. So one of the things that they photographed a lot in the Arctic were the glaciers. So we've got glaciers at Svalbard, we've got ones in Greenland, and over here at Eskimo Bay as well. And it just shows the amount of ice that's pouring out of the glaciers and breaking up into the northern hemisphere there. And each year when you go back, you can see these glaciers retreating further and further. It's a huge indicator of climate change. These are wonderful photographs of cone jellies that live deep in the ocean under the Arctic. I mean, they're just gorgeous, aren't they? Look at the colors and how cute they are. Michael O photographed these comb jellies himself and they're the first time that anybody's ever photographed these creatures. In fact, they're new discoveries to science. Michael and the expeditioners took photographs of some of the wildlife as well as the scenery, including these smashing puffins. This is the mating season for the puffins. They've come out onto the rocks to, to mate and then they'll lay nests in the crevices down the sides here. As you can see, they're sitting on some beautiful orange lichen here that matches the color of their bills. These puffins make a very odd noise. They don't squawk or, or squeak. They actually make a growling noise at each other. I hope you've enjoyed this virtual tour of Elysium Arctic and feel inspired to find out more about the conservation of the Arctic or to take your own photographs as well. Thanks for watching.